Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered without price. And now this question I ask of the both of you on the behalf of the church. Do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you accept the freedom and the power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church? which Christ is open to people of all ages, nations, and races. If so, answer, I do. I do. Will you nurture Jonas, Malcolm, in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example, he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess his faith openly, and lead a Christian life? If so, answer, I will. I will. This is directed to the congregation. Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. We do. Will, you reach, will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life? Include this child now before you in your care and surround him with a community of love and forgiveness? We will. Let us pray. Eternal God, when Nothing existed but chaos. You swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. And after the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land you which you promised. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Tell of God's mercy each day. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Declare, Declare his, his works to the nations, his, his glory among all the people. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Bless the gift of the water and this one who receives it. To wash away his sin and clothe him in righteousness throughout his life, that dying and being raised with Christ, he may share in his final victory. All, All praise, praise to you, you eternal, eternal Father, through your, your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen.
Members of the household of God, I commend this child to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase his faith, confirm his hope, and perfect him in love. We give thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you in the body of Christ, and in his congregation, we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. The God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Amen. Let's welcome this wonderful <laughs>